Well, this is gonna, all right, so Ray Chen. All right, well, it's not gonna sound as good as that, but. A lot of empty space. Mm. Yeah, okay, okay. I, I think I got a few parts, a couple parts to sound all right. My name's Rob Landis, and I've been playing the violin since I was three years old. Today, I'm listening to a track that has a violin part removed, and I'm gonna try to add my own violin part to it on the fly. How you feeling? I'm feeling good, feeling good. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna get, but uh, you know I'm here for it, and let's just let's just have fun. See Rob, what happens. Are you very familiar with video game music? Somewhat familiar, <laughs> yes, as anybody who has seen my uh, my channel might know. All right. Well, this is somewhat video game music. Okay. So we're gonna okay. play this for you now. A lot of empty space. Mm. Man, that's pretty. Yeah, this is exciting. Um, okay, great voice. Uh, and a lot of space for a violin, so I feel like the pressure's on. <laughs> Let's see if I can do something with this. So tell us about what you were doing while you were listening. Yeah, so basically just writing down the chords um, so that I can have some idea of the structure and then also, um, you know, what notes within those chords I can play that will sound all right. I've barely ever done this, so um, I'm sure it's pretty inaccurate, but it's at least a roadmap for us to get started. Well, I mean, one of the things that I can tell about Rob, he didn't, he didn't check his violin for a reference pitch, so... You know, you're you're obviously you can recognize what key, and you can recognize a lot of the notes that are happening. This particular key center, I'm not envying your position right now because there's a lot of flats going on here, right? Yes, there are many, many flats. This is not an open string key. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. You know, most of the great violin concertos are written in D minor or right. D major because you have all those open strings. Yeah. Because you can play double stops, no problem. But um, B flat. Not so much. All righty, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play it for you and you take it away, Rob. I am the monster you created. You ripped out all my parts. And worst of all, for me to live, I gotta kill the part of me that saw And I needed you more I hope you know we had everything And you broke me of these pieces I want you to hurt
could have been. Nice ending. I like that ending. <laughs> Thanks. How you doing? Dang. Yeah, okay. Okay. I, <laughs> I think I got a few parts, a couple parts to sound all right, but uh Yeah. Good wow. job. Good job. You look like you look like you look intense though right now. You look like you feel you sound like you feel intense right now. I was I don't know, like it's it's kind of an intense track. Like it feels cinematic yeah. and yeah. very, very totally. dark and deep um yes. and rich. Very, yeah. very rich. And so I I wanted to try to really draw out those those beautiful long singing tones yeah. for it. You have such a sound and a and a uh, sensibility for that kind of that that emotion, you know. It's great to hear you. It's great to hear you go there and, and all the sound you get out of the instrument. You you really pull so much life out of the, out of the tone. I loved a lot of the phrasing you came up with on this too. You you know it was interesting. You you tapped right into this three rhythm. Mm, two three. Mm, two three. And so sometimes I could hear that you were going into that, that almost like a waltz uh, accompaniment. Mm, ta, ta, you played that. You know, mm, bo, bo, do, be, mm, boom, boom. I thought that was really nice. Thank you. Yeah. Thank cool, you. Man. Cool to hear you go all up and down the register of your instrument, like you did. The very end when everything dropped out and you came into that low B flat, that was a that was a power move right there. Yeah, that was a that was a trip. It just felt like a whole journey. Um, so it was nice that it, I mean, it was generally all in the same uh, key, right? I mean, it wasn't a friendly key, but I think after a little while. It starts in F minor, mm. which you locked right into, and then in, in the middle of the song, it modulates to B flat minor. Right. But you nailed all that stuff. Mm. Well, thanks. Did you follow your chart, or did you just kind of at some point where you kind of like, okay, what I, you know, I want to look at this thing. I'm just going to like listen for it. Yeah, it's it, at some point I realized that everything I wrote wasn't helpful to me. Gotcha. <laughs> so yeah, right. I just ended up listening to it and, yeah. and feeling it out. Right. So this song is called What Could Have Been. is originally performed by Sting and Ray Chen, friend of the channel. No way. Uh, and it was written for the League of Legends Netflix show Arcane. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. Well, this is going to... All right, so Ray Chen. All right. Well, it's not going <laughs> to sound as good as that, but... Let's see how you compare to Ray Chen. All right. Uh, I want to see you in the comments. Who's better, Rob or Ray? No, <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't do that. So no violin yet either. Curious when he comes in if it's going to be at that break. I'm going to wait that long. It's a pretty song. Gosh. Yeah. Oh, the harmonics. Yeah. It's very ethereal presence. That's oh, so pretty. E string harmonics. Oh. All in response. So he's not playing the same time Sting is singing. Soaring high, rich notes he's staying on. Stays out of the way, he's not moving too much. Yep, take center stage again. I want you to hold like you hold oh, yeah. Gorgeous. You sound great, right? And again, he's doing all of that in uh, B flat and, yeah. and what was it, D, no, D minor too? Well, well, beginning F minor, but at the F end minor. when he's really getting active, it's mostly B flat minor. Yeah, yeah super. Whatever those chords are, yeah. yeah. See, and I don't think chordally, classically trained violinist, we really think melodically. Right. And so thinking about what those chords are is still new for me. And this is just an amazing song. And, and I love seeing music that really uh, features violinists, obviously. Uh, so hope to see more of that. But great job, Sting. Great job, Ray. I want you to lose like I lose. 